Uh, good morning everyone. A very good morning. Shall we begin the session? In the last class we have finished with basic operations that is join, project, to select and in today's class we are going to continue with the same but with the additional basic operation. One of the basic operation is rename operation. Yes, some are the basic operations, some are the additional basic operations. That means that are not uh, up to that important point, but they are the additional basic operations. So that is used with the join, that is used with Shall we begin with the additional basic operations? First one is rename. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Hi, Joseph. Are you able to hear me? Okay. Yes, sir. Good morning. Hello. I'm fine, sir. Yes. Are you able to hear me? I can hear you, sir. Okay. You have finished with the all the assignments. Yes, but I have some clarification. I have no, no, no. You have submitted all the assignment. You have mailed me to me. Hello, you have mailed all the assignments to me. Hello, sir. Yes, Joseph. I'm asking. I have no. Have you finished with the assignments? Yes, sir. But I have some pending task. Okay. And you have uh, submit to me with the, via email. That means you mail to me. No, no, I have not sent it to you. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, how much time you need more? No, no, no. I'm sending it by this weekend. But I want to clarify some task. Okay, okay. By this weekend only. Okay, all right. But I have some pending task. Pardon? I have some question in uh, web design. Yes. Tell me what is the question? In uh, in web design, should I open the assignment? Yes, sir. Web okay, design. Just a minute. Website design assignment. Yes, sir. Yes, tell me. Task two. Pardon? Task two four eight nine. Task four. Two four two four eight nine. Task two. Yes. Task two. Task four. Task eight. Task nine. Okay. Task two. That means in this you need to design an interactive website and review it prior to proceeding with the or proceeding with the implementation. That means you have to design any website that you can review prior to proceeding with implementation and design a portfolio of the BDS website. This is the BDS website that is given. That includes what is the purpose of the project, target audience. That means you have to design a website. That website may include, that is an interactive website. That may include a purpose, that may include a target audience. It's up to you. Either you use the multiple tabs, either you use a single tab. This depends on you. And also, various features of the competitive website that you need to incorporate. That means you have to uh, see various websites, what are the various websites that contain. That also includes na navigation, that includes top tables, links, menu drop downs. And also various font, font sizes, color, background images. That means you have to design a website according to these features. Okay. Hello. Okay, I can hear you, sir. Yes. Is that okay? So will I need to 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 submit the code? You have to submit the code as well as the screenshot. Okay, sir. Then task number four. Number four. 
okay you now need to implement in this you have to design in this you have to implement how it is implement that means your website must be responsive if you click on the submit button then it goes into the submit phase that means your data will be saved for the submission that will be included into the database use css that is a cascading style for common style pages for navigation that means if you click on the contact us for example this is one example if you click on the contact us then the new page will be opened for the contact information that is a navigation then next point is use the headings list and the buttons you have to include the headings main headings buttons list then clickable images if there is an image that means you have to click on this image that image is also navigating to the new page okay that means in task number two you have to do only the coding that is not the navigation page that is jumped to the next page but in task number four you have to implement the design so that your page is be going to navigate the next page example same example if i click on the contact us tab the new page will be opened for the contact information that is the implementation of the website so I will not, I, uh, the, the screenshot is what I will put here. Yes, in this you have to implement navigation. Okay, and, uh, and uh, get the screenshots. Yeah, screenshot also, that is very important. Okay, sir. And next task, task number? Number is? Nine. Eight. Eight. This is implementing the design that will be witnessed or assessed by the witness statement and evidence using annotated screenshots. That is the same. That means whatever you design, whatever you implement, that is assessed by the witness statement. That means you have to give the screenshots. That is a witness statement yeah, that you develop this one, you develop this one. This is the coding for this page, how you navigate from one page to another page. Okay, it's similar to uh, number four. It is similar. It means only witness statement means you have to give each and everything that you do. Okay. What else? Deny. Write a document to assist in supporting and maintaining the website. For example, best example, if you create, if you see any website, for example, Mercury Solution website. There are multiple scenarios, there are multiple conditions, or there are multiple pages that gives the information, right? Yes. In the same way, whatever website you develop, you have to support with the document in task number nine. That includes the file structure. What are the file structure you are using? What is the language you are using? You are using HTML, you are using CSS, you are using uh, web scripting, you are using PHP, whatever language you are using. Then essential script, that means a bootstrap, JavaScript. Then sitemap. Sitemap means how you go. Uh, for example, in the contact us, there is a Google map also. That is a sitemap. Also the various images that, that is required. These are the various documents that you support or that you give in support of the website design. Okay. Now, what, what about the first one, file structures and locations? For example, you created in, uh, in HTML. You use the body tag, you use the head tag, right? So you have to give that structures. What you include in the head tag? What you include in the location? What you include in the BI tag? Okay. There is a lot of work to do. Yeah. Any other doubts? No, that's just uh, about that. So you are pending with uh, how many assignments? Uh, this web application and Java. Okay, you submit first. You submit the assignment. Then I have to recompile the assignment again. Then I have okay. Then you tell me what are the assignment you submitted, right? I'm going to submit everything again. First you submit. Then we will talk with each other. Okay, sir. Thank Any you, other sir. doubts? Uh, no for now, sir. Okay. And uh, you are... Hello? I'm with you, you, sir. Are you in your office right now? No, sir. Today is your off. 
Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. So please submit the assignment because uh, the new Ed Excel course is going to start in July onwards. So I have to finish this course by July, maximum to the July. Okay, sir. All right. Okay, sir. So if I will submit hopefully by next week. Okay, next week. And please okay. remind me via WhatsApp, via chat, anything that you submitted the assignments. Okay, sir. All right. Okay, sir. Okay. So first one is the rename operation. Uh, how we rename the objects, how we rename the sch schedules. So consider again the query that we used earlier. Select name course ID from instructor teaches where instructor dot ID equals to teaches dot ID. That means we compare, we are dealing with the IDs of both the tables both the relations one is instructor one is a teaching teaches and we are selecting only two fields name course id from two tables instruction and the teachers and the result of this query is in a relation with the following attributes so this gives the output as a table with the following attributes what are the various columns what are the various fields that is given out one is a name one is a course id and the names of the attribute in the result are derived from the names of the attribute in the relation in the from clause we cannot however always derive the names in this way for several reasons first two relations in the from clause must have the same attribute or must have the attributes with the same name in which case an attribute name is duplicated in the result second if we used an arithmetic expression in the select clause the resultant attribute does not have a name then third yes in the if we, if we implement the arithmetic expression, then the resultant attribute does not have a name. Third, even if an attribute name can be derived from the base relation, as in the preceding example, we may want to change the attribute name in the result. Hence, SQL provides a way of renaming the attributes of a result relation. It uses the as close taking the form. This is old name as new name. And as close can appear in both the select and the from clauses. For example, if we want the attribute name name to be replaced with the name instructor name, so we can rewrite the preceding query as select name as instructor name course ID from instructor teaches, where instructor dot ID equals to teaches dot ID. So we select the name as we say take the name attribute as an instructor name, and then the next field is the course ID because this is separated by the comma and it is taking out the two fields two table one is the instructor one is the teaches what is the condition condition is remains the same that is the instructor dot id equals to teaches dot id and the as clause is particularly used in remaining relations and one reason to rename a relation is to replace a wrong relation a long relation name with the shortened provision that is used by the as clause that is more convenient to use elsewhere in the query also and to illustrate we can rewrite the query for all the instructor in university who have taught some course find their name and the course id of all the courses that they taught so select t dot name s dot course id t dot name means t from uh, name from the t table course id from the s table from instructor as t the name of the instructor table is t right now and teaches as a s where t dot id is code s dot id now let's again take the example so this is select the uh, t dot name that means t is the name of the table it is not the exact name but we are given as alias name by using the as clause by using the as keyword so select t dot name s dot course id so name is a field attribute from the t table and course id is a field from the s table from instructor as t teaches as s where t dot id equals to s dot id that is given as a t dot id is equals to the s dot ID. so it is taken as a t dot name then s dot course id from instructor instructors uh, table name is given as a t we, with the use of the as keyword then teaches as a s so there are two tables instructor and the teaches and the instructor table is given as a t 
t and the teachers table is given as a s where t dot id equals to s dot id now the another reason to rename a relation is a case where we wish to compare the tuples in the same relation we then need to take the cartesian product of a relation with itself and without renaming it becomes impossible to differentiate one tuple from the another tuple suppose that we want to write the query find the name of all the instructors whose salary is greater than uh, at least one instructor in the biology department this is the comparison of the salaries within the two tables one is the instructor table one is the yeah one is the instructor table that is given one is the biology department so this is select distinct t dot name so name is given as a distinct and from instructor as a t that is given as t instructor as s then t dot salary is greater than s dot salary and s dot department name equals to biology so distinct distinct means a unique name from two tables instructor and the yes instructor and t uh, s where t dot salary is greater than s dot salary and s dot department name is biology and observe that we cannot use the notation instructor dot salary since it would not be clear with reference to the instructor that is being intended and in the above query t and s can be thought of as a copies of the relation instructor but more precisely they are declared as aliases this is an alternative name for the relation instructor so this is the alternative name that is given for the uh, uh, table instructor that is a t and the s and we are using two identifiers that is a t and s that is used to rename a relation that is referred as a correlation name in the sql standard that is more commonly referred as a <coughs> Table alias or a correlation variable or a tuple variable. And note that a better way to phrase the previous query that in English would be find the names of all the instructor who who earn more than the lowest paid instructor in the biology department. Because we are giving the two tables, we are taking the two table T and the S, where T dot salary is greater than S dot salary and S dot department name that is a biology. And our original wording fits with closely with the SQL that is used for the intuitive expressed in the SQL queries. Now we have finished with the rename. Next is what are the various string operations that is putting up or that is followed up. So SQL also specified the strings by enclosing them in a single code. So we, we specify the strings by enclosing them by using them in a single code. For example, if I'm talking about a computer that is a string because what is a string that is a collection of characters it is given in a single code and a single code character that is a part of the string uh, can be specified by using the two single code characters for example the string it's right can be specified by it's right because it is given as a post office and the SQL statement also specifies the equality that is also case sensitive and as a result the expression computer science computer science evaluates to false however some database systems such as MySQL and the SQL server do not distinguish uppercase from the lowercase that means yeah that means it is not a case sensitive if you write the uppercase if you write the lowercase comparison will be done it is not a case sensitive that means there is no compare between the uppercase and the lowercase letter and this by default behavior can however we change at the database level or the level of the specific attributes <laughs> and SQL also permits a variety of the functions on the character strings such as concatenating that is denoted by the two pipes extracting the substrings finding the length of the strings converting strings to the uppercase that is using the upper s where s is the string lowercase lower s removing the spaces at the end of the string using trim and so on the one is the upper one is a lower one is a trim and there are also variations on the exact set of the string function that is supported by the different database systems that is used for the systems manual for giving the details on exactly what string function is supports so uh, that is supported by using the operator like so we are using the like for the pattern matching for by using the two special characters one is a percent that matches any substring one is a underscore that matches any character so percent character matches any substring 
underscore matches any character and patterns are the case sensitive that is the uppercase characters do not match with the lowercase or vice versa so to illustrate the pattern matching we consider the following example if i'm talking about the intro then percentage that means if anything that starts with intro after that how many characters how many string how many substrings are available that is not matter so intro then there is a percent then percent comb percent that matches any string containing comp as a substring so there is a, any characters uh, before any characters after that comb but in between there is a substring that is a comb for example intro to computer science computational biology now underscore matches any single character so if i'm talking about three underscore that means only three characters two o n e red red that means only three characters now for example if i want listen carefully for example if i want only three characters and after that yes after that n number of characters that means three characters are fixed at the starting after that there are n number of the characters very good three characters are specified by using the percent uh, sorry by using the underscore very good after that we put the percentage because n number of string that may be one string uh, that may be a one character that may be two character that may be three characters and so on. so that matches any string of at least three characters and sql also expresses a pattern by using the like comparison operator that find the names of all the departments whose building name includes a substring with so this is the department name so select department name from department by building like percentage vets and percentage this is given as a department name as a taking out the name as a field name as a department name from which table that is a department table where the name of the building is like any characters then there is a vets and then any number of the on n number of the characters So select department name depart from department where building like percent weights and percent and for meta pattern to include a special pattern character that may be a percentage or and that is using the percentage or the underscore that includes the special pattern characters that also includes the escape characters that is used immediately before a special pattern character to indicate the special pattern characters to be treated as a normal character and to define the escape characters for a like operation like comparison using the escape keyword also that will be used with the backslash as escape characters this is like a b backslash percentage c d percentage escape this matches all the string that beginning with the a b any characters and c d any characters then ab double slash that matches all the string beginning with the ab and then cd then again there is a percentage and sql sql also allows to search for the mismatches instead of the matches by using the not like comparison operators and this or some database also provides a variant of the like comparison that do not differentiate between lower and the upper case that also offers a similar to operation that provides more powerful pattern matching than the like operation for example if i'm talking about for specifying the pattern is similar to that used in the unix regular expression this can be used in the select statement to denote all the attributes therefore the use of instructor in the select clause of the query select instructor from instructor teaches where instructor dot id is teaches dot id where it can be specified to include all the attributes of the result 
relation of the firm close that are selected over here. Then altering the display of the tables. So SQL also offers a user some control to or over the order in which tuples in a relation are displayed. That is displayed by the or, or that is done by the order by clause. For example, to list in alphabetic orders all the instructors in the physics department, we write select name from instructor where department underscore name is physics. Then order by name. And by default, the order by close list items in ascending order. To, to, to specify the sort order, we may specify the descending for the descending order, ascending for the ascending order. And furthermore, ordering can be performed on the multiple attributes. So suppose that we wish to list the entire instructor relation in its descending order of the salary that is given with the several instructors that have the same salary. So we order them in ascending order by name. So select a strict from instructor that is order by salary descending name ascending. Then where close predicates. So SQL includes a between comparison operator to specify where closes that specify that a value will, will be less than or equals to some value or and greater than or equals to some other value. So if you wish to find the names of the instructors with the salary amount between 90,000 and 100,000 that is a one lakh. So we use the between comparison to write select name instructor where salary between 90,000 to one lakh. Instead of name instructor where salary is greater less than 10,000 and greater than 90,000. So this is the in not between comparison operators. Sorry, between comparison operator, and we can also use the not between comparison.